In this training update, we're going to be talking about inters and tempos. Hi, I'm Mick from aeropowerflightschool.com.au and as pilots when we're going to our training and out operating in the real world, one of the things we always look at is the, the weather and the forecast. And some of the meteorological codes you'll see on the aviation forecast are inter and tempo. And in this update, we're just going to quickly explain what they mean. So when you see an inter or a tempo on a, a forecast, it means that there's going to be a significant variation in the weather from the average that's contained in, in the rest of the forecast. In the case of an inter, that variation can last up to 30 minutes. In a tempo, it can last longer than 30 minutes, but no longer than 60 minutes. And these may have, generally in my experience, there's always a, a decrease or a, a worsening in the, in the weather that you experience during those periods. And it's possible that that inter or, or tempo, the degradation in the weather, could then impose a operational requirement for you if that's the destination airfield that you're operating to. So it may decrease below your uh, minimums and you'll either need to carry holding fuel or uh, carry uh, fuel to fly to a, an alternate airfield. So in the case of inter, that's uh, six, sorry, inter is, is 30 minutes, uh, holding fuel required if, that, if it drops below your minimums, and 60 for a a tempo period. When you're planning it as a destination where you're going to have to go to an alternative or carry that fuel, we have to allow a 30 minute buffer period on what the, uh, the times are in the forecast. So if the inter and tempo is due forecast to start at 0, 1, 0, 0, then we'll actually have to uh, plan on holding that fuel up until half an hour before that period. And again, if we arrive half an hour after the, the inter or tempo period, we'll also have to plan uh, for any operational requirements that flow from that inter or tempo. If you're operating to a, a large airfield that perhaps has a, a TTF or a trend type forecast, then if you're operating within the period of validity of that forecast, then because it's more accurate and the forecasters are, are generally there and updating the forecast quite frequently, then you don't have to carry that buffer period. So the buffering period only applies to uh, TAFs. Where the weather's going to deteriorate for more than 60 minutes, generally what will happen then is the, the forecast will change to using the codes from or becoming, indicating that, that uh, change in weather is actually going to be longer lasting rather than being intermediate for an inter or temporary for a, a tempo. So there you go, that's our training update for today. If you've got any questions about inters or tempos or other weather codes, then depending on where you are, drop a, a comment below this video and ask your question there and we'll get back to you and answer you in the uh, comments. Okay, till next time, cheers. Thank <laughs> you.